So outdoor season is coming to an end and some people have been facing some problems depending on where you live, especially with the weather. Now here in Michigan, there's been a lot of storms, there's been a lot of issues, and a lot of people are struggling with keeping the plants alive. In this video, we're gonna be going over how to have your plants survive and thrive in a rough outdoor season. Being, you know, Michiganders, we have had some fucking weird weather. It's always like, always. one day, it's, <laughs> it's like bipolar, man. One day we got almost winter-like weather in the summer, and then all of a sudden we have fall, and then it's hot as hell, and windy. Well, if you, you know, if you are a Michigander, you know, it can rain, sleet, sunshine, and snow all in the same day. Kind of sucks. But what I've been um, experiencing as far as in the grower community is this year has been um, kind of delayed or stunted overall from here to Oregon. So um, it just, you can't call it sometimes. You're a farmer's almanac, your weatherman can only take you so far, can only give you so much of an insight on what this season is gonna present to you. Like Rob said, you you should kind of have an idea if you've done any kind of garden outside, you should have good strategies going into the season. Kind of like we were touching on before the video is having you know, strategy in place or, or thinking about the season, working with the season, like you can't go against nature. And like, if you're looking for a plan, we have the four fundamentals to outgrow, outdoor growing. We have tips for outdoor growing, what strains are best for outdoor growing. So all those videos that we have, you know, please take a look at if you're interested in any kind of outdoor gardening or learning more about how to outdoor garden. If you have that knowledge from those videos or have any knowledge, plan accordingly. Now, you know, another thing you're gonna have to curve with the season, curve with the weather. Um, it's, you know, fun to joke about the weather, but it's a real reality. And when you're talking about added moisture and wind gusts to the air, even if you are in an enclosed greenhouse or what a lot of people will call greenhouses, um, you know, some two by fours and some plastic, which is, I'm not, I'm not trying to talk shit. My point is stability. That's it, that, you know, a greenhouse that's made of actual, you like know, fiberglass or... walls and, 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 and metal and you're able to actually control and have a supplemental lighting structure. is completely different from an enclosed garden, you know? And I would say that's more or less what I have and have run for years. And you're still, uh, you know, at exposure, at risk of the elements because- This shit gonna get real heavy. And um, you just have to, you know, if you have damage, you have to go out there. And a lot of times I'm cutting away that damage because it's not worth going back or losing the whole plan over it. Well, like to think when you first started, you know, some shots went first to the channel. That, again, laws are a little different, but it was, wasn't, the top wasn't on, it wasn't enclosed. And like the difference in structure and stability, like your plants are like indoor plants now. I feel like that they've had the treatment almost like an indoor area. Right. Where like, they may not be these wild, crazy bushes, but your quality is better in my opinion because they're maintained better. The elements aren't beating the shit out of them on a regular basis and they're just more protected. You don't have to worry so much about pests and you know deer coming up and fucking with your stuff. Little things like that. Like, yeah, I mean, for legal purposes, of course you gotta keep it closed. Yeah. But for purposes of safety, it's a fucking no brainer. If you don't have a solid structure, something that can keep pests out, can keep wind from knocking things over, it's really gonna be, that. that's the best way to start with success is making sure that your stuff is in a closed area. You know, and to kind of touch on saving a plant, you know, there's another thing that I've seen people deal with and that's, even with an enclosed area is plants bending and breaking because they get too top heavy. Yeah. And that's where having some sort of stability put in place, some sort of structure to hold it together. Like the homie Howie Wowie's got the trellising, which yeah. is amazing and outside the <laughs> trellising. Yeah. It's killing it. Yeah. Um, yeah. Or else you can use, you know, bamboo sticks. You can use different things like that to hold it up. But you got to know that if you're growing a big plant and it's going to have areas that are, you know, filled out with bud sites, you're likely going to have big buds that weigh heavy that could bend over and break in your area. And if you're not in there on a regular basis, you could come into a fucking nightmare. Like, oh, yeah. you really gotta pay attention to it because Dead bodies. <laughs> yeah, you walk in and all of a sudden it's just like, smash on the ground out of nowhere. Like I've had a few way back that I, I didn't really anticipate them to get as big as they were because I've seen them inside and they weren't really shit, mm. but nature just decided that they were beasts. And oh yeah, they always be bigger man, outside. Man, go out there and write, I mean, literally the whole stem, thick ass stalk mm -hmm. bent over, literally just from 
huge gust of wind and a heavy top. Yeah, you know? I mean, and these Michigan winds don't play. I mean, Chicago ain't that far away. Yeah, you wind know, with legalization, sweep of the fucking nation, you know, with the outdoor environments, depending on where you're at, you can't have those crazy winds. You can't have those seasons that are really rough on you. And if you don't do those things initially to, to think about that, like basically knowing the farmer's almanac, if you're one of those people, if you're doing research on what the last few seasons were like, knowing that you may be dealing with more issues this next season, if you're not putting the proper precautions in, yeah. you're fucking up. Absolutely. I mean, you got to plan, 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 and you can plan, and Mother Nature can throw you a curveball, and you have to then adjust your strategy. Now, minor stoner moment. Didn't mention one major thing that you're going to have to be preventing in your garden, and that's people. Now, for the most part, between now and mid-October, people like to call that hunting season. Not for animals, deer, anything like that is for your plants. Unfortunately, people are pieces of shit. He's right. Not everybody, but some people are pieces of shit. Some preventative measures when it comes to security from people or theft would be a security system. Now, if you don't have the budget for something like an alarm system, things like that, you can always go DIY MacGyver and booby traps. So that way you have some sort of noise, some sort of thing that basically you'll know that people are there, whether it be a floodlight, something to alarm them. It's good to have some sort of thing in place because I feel like the fear of getting caught is more of an impact for a lot of people. So if you're able to have something that makes it look like at least there's some sort of security in place, a lot of people are gonna back off once they get close. Or if you have it in the budget to get an actual alarm system, some sort of security system that can go off and alert you if anyone's breaking into there, if there's any doors that have been open, any locks that are broken, things like that. You gotta always pay attention because people are gonna be trying to take what you have. All that work, the months put in, it's unfortunate, but there's a lot of pirates out there when it comes to cannabis. So back to me and Trey. Well, with that being said, if you do need some help with the outdoor grow, if you didn't get anything going this season, but do next season, drop it in the comments or drop it in the discussion area in the 420 Growers Club. Link will be in the description. Make sure you like, comment, and always stay, stay lifted. lifted.